Chris Brockman. Do you remember Hal Morris, the player Hal Morris? I do remember Hal. Do you remember Chris Sabo? I do remember. Chris remember, Chris Sabo? Remember, Chris Sabo? remember Barry Larkin? Yes. Remember Barry Larkin. Absolutely. Remember Jim Abbott? Do you remember Jim? I do Abbott? absolutely. Uh, do you remember Derek Jeter? Oh, I know. What, I know what you're doing now. It took me a while. What to do these people all have in common? They went to the University of Michigan. Well, Derek didn't. He was going to, but you know, he had a Hall of Fame perfect. Uh, but you claim in the person anyway? career. You're, you claim him anyway for for Michigan. He, hello. <laughs> Because of intent. Yes. And I claim this man. San Diego may claim this man, but I claim him. I claim this man. I claim this man. The amount of delight he gave me watching them go on this run and maybe come so close to winning College World Series title in 2019 and then watching him do what he's doing right now for the San Diego Padres. Uh, we're not talking about Fernando Tatis Jr. or Manny Machado. We're talking about Jake friggin' Croningworth, who's right here on the Rich Eyes Show. How are you, Jake? How's that for an introduction? <laughs> that was awesome. I'm doing great. How are you guys? Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you're doing awesome. I will say that. You are doing awesome. How 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 are you? How about that? How are you doing, Jake Croningworth? Man, I'm great. This is, uh, it's been an awesome homestand and an awesome year so far, and I'm just happy there's full crowds back in the stadium. Right. That must be, and it just you know, uh, just seeing the the crowds back in and seeing how people are are in the stands watching you and the rest of your teammates and how thrilled they are to see how you are performing. What is it like to bat in between Tatis and Manny Machado, Jake? What is that like? I don't know. It's uh, I don't know whose idea it was to put me there. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know if I belong in that spot, but. Uh. Uh, it's been pretty special. Those two guys are pretty special to play with, too. So, well, I mean, awesome. I, I, look, I mean, you you were put there. I mean, that, that's a serious responsibility. It stretches the lineup, obviously. It extends the lineup, and plus, you know, you're needing to protect somebody in front of you who's protecting, you know, uh, the person behind you as well. So, what what uh, what do you what have you seen better pitches? What what has it been like for you, Jake? Uh. I think the biggest difference is, you know, when the lineup's a little more spread out and it's lefty, righty, lefty, righty, you know, maybe you might get one extra righty out of that bullpen um, to face Toddy and Manny, but um, and maybe see one less lefty. So that's really the only difference. You know, guys are pitching how they're going to pitch in today's game, and I think that's, you know, kind of how the whole league's doing it. And uh, what is it like uh, in your clubhouse these days? Um, performing, obviously, you're 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 in a very deep end of a pool in the National League West. Uh, what do you guys talk about when you you think of your common goals? Do you guys talk World Series like openly in your clubhouse, Jake? Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say openly. You know, we have have some guys in our team who've been there and and, and won the World Series, so they know what it takes. But um, you know, I think. I think everybody's goal is just to win each day, and um, you know if we're playing our best our best baseball at the end of the year, I think uh, everybody knows what we can do. All right, I've been dancing around the question that I really want to ask you straight <laughs> up, Jake Cronenworth. How, how does going to the greatest institution of higher learning on planet Earth <laughs> helped you in becoming a major league baseball star, Jake? How has that helped you? You know what? I'll I'll tell you this. I get a lot of crap about it in the locker room because I'm one of the only guys on the team that went to college. Uh, but I try to tell them Michigan's the greatest place to ever exist. So, <laughs> right, um, you know, guys, they'll have to experience it for themselves someday. Well, I mean, where? Wh- why would you get crap for going to Michigan, Jake? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Because I, I talk about it a lot, and I think a lot of people who do go to Michigan talk about it a lot because it is so great. Yeah, that's why we annoy people, Jake. <laughs> I mean that's that's why we annoy everybody when we talk about how uh terrific it is. Um but uh they give you crap for it in your clubhouse. A little bit. A little bit, you know. Hmm. But I mean it, 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 I guess in all seriousness then, how did your your run to the College World Series title help you prepare for these moments for you? Right now. Well, I, w- I actually wasn't on that team. I was on the team in 15 that won the Big Ten Championship. Right. Uh, and then uh, we ended up losing in the regional Louisville. So you, but that's that right. was super special. So you, um, you, you closed out. Did you close out a Big Ten Championship, Jake? Did you, like, get on the mound and close one out back in the day? I did. Yeah. I actually, I think I saved all four games in that conference tournament. You so let me ask you this question, Jake Cronenworth. When it all comes down to it, um, can you come out of the pen? Can Jace Tingler hand you the baseball at some point in time? 
I like to think I can. Uh, I think I might need a couple months to get ready to to be back to like what I was and when I was pitching in 2019. Um, but I think if uh, if we had nobody left and it was a last resort, I think I could do it. Come on now, how how how, how fast could you touch right now, Jake? If given the ball, right now, the oh, I don't know about right now. Um, I would like to say in the low to mid 90s, but I don't know. Okay. Um, Jake Cronenworth here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, how much do you enjoy homering off of Trevor Bauer? How was that question? What do you think? <laughs> I, I enjoy homering whenever I can because I, mm. I don't get too many of them. But, uh, you know, those guys are really good. So any chance you can hit a homer off a really good arm, uh, it's always fun. Too. Okay, I like that. You're, that's a very high road answer. I appreciate that. But it does it does seem to me – though, that your team relishes the competition against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Would that be a safe assumption, Jake? 100%. Yeah, they're a really good team. You know, whenever we play them, both teams are bringing their A game. And uh, I feel like every game we play against them, it's a one-run game in the ninth. And somebody's on base and the tying or winning runs at the plate. And, you know, somebody's always making a big play on either side. So, uh, okay, what, what are you guys talking about in your clubhouse these days? Jake Cronenworth of the San Diego Padres here on the Rich Eisen Show. What are you guys talking about in your clubhouse these days about the pitchers being checked for all these substances? What's the, what's the general sense of what you and your teammates yeah, are talking it's just about? A, it's a crazy time in our game, and, you know, the league made the decision this past Monday to check the pitchers when they're coming off, and, you know, it's just kind of where we're at. You know, different guys have different opinions on it. And, you know, it's just one of those things. I don't know how long it's going to last. But um, for right now, this is kind of the state of our game. What is your opinion on it, Jake? Yeah, I was, you know, good and bad. You know, I think, uh, you know, guys throughout the history of baseball have been using it. And, um, you know, that's really it. I mean, you know, now I think – Maybe guys took it a little too far, and we're kind of at where we are now. But, um, you know, I'm sure they'll try to do something to even the playing field out here in the future in the next couple of years. So uh, how do you feel as a hitter then, Jake? Because, the, the, you know, we've heard from Pete Alonzo of the Mets. We've heard from others who are saying, let, let some of these guys have something because I don't want to get hit by a pitch. Do you ascribe to that, Jake Cronenworth? Um, you know, I guess I've never really thought about it like that. Um, where guys were using it to maybe not hit guys, but uh, you know, I will say some guys' pitches have been really, really good this year, and mm-hmm. um, pitchers have been really good, and I think that's a testament to them too, just getting really good in the off season. But uh, we'll see how now that they're getting checked and they're not allowed to use it, how their stuff turns out for the rest of the season. Jake Cronenworth here on the Rich Eisen Show. Um, how, how much better do you think you can get, Jake? What do you need to improve on? What do you What do you take that approach? What do you got for me there? You know, I think the biggest thing for me, you know, during the year and during the off season is just getting as good as I can on the defensive side of the ball. Um, we got a really good starting pitching staff and a really good bullpen. So anything I can do to help those guys out as much as I can to keep us in a game, that's that's kind of my main goal. Okay, and then uh, wearing that chain as much as possible, Jake. How heavy is that thing? How heavy is that uh, thing? It looks heavier, or it is heavier than it actually looks. It's, uh, is that right? It's pretty heavy. No yeah. kidding. So th- is that solid gold or something like that, or is it that? I don't know what's in it. I haven't asked what's in it. Okay, but it is. It is pretty heavy. Is it the hood ornament on Manny Machado's car? Is that what that is, or? <laughs> He could afford that with his latest contract or Tatis. I mean, is that is that what that is? I, mean, what is uh, I, I think they I think they can afford it. Okay. Who picks up the tab for dinner now that maybe you're you're going to start doing that sort of thing? Who does that with you guys? Who does that? Well, if I had to guess, you know, Tatis has got the biggest contract, so I think he's on the hook for that Come one. On. Now does he have? Does he have? Is that where he he is he like that Geico commercial where he's got alligator arms reaching for the check or or, or does he? Really... No, I think I know Manny and Hosmer said something about it earlier before the season when he signed it. You know he's picking up that check now that he's got the biggest contract. So mm, okay, 
Now, hold on a minute. I just, I, 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 I was unaware about this fact. It just was whispered into my ear by uh, my producer, Mike Hoskins. Did you strike out Mookie Betts earlier this year, Jake? Did that happen? <laughs> did you get on the mound and do that? Did that happen? I did, yeah. <laughs> what happened? See, you've got, you still can do it. You've got it, right? Well, it was a extra inning game. I think it was the 12th inning of, of, uh, the second game we played him this year. Yes. And Corey Seager had let off the inning with the two run homer. And then somebody else had hit a, an RBI double. Um, so they had gone up three or four runs and we, we had no pitching left for the, we'd just been, cause we had played a super close game the night before. We had no pitching the rest of that game. So we had a mound visit and I'm looking in the bullpen and nobody was getting up and they just said, Hey, you're in the game. You're pitching. <laughs> like, that was the first guy the first guy grounded out to first base and i forgot to cover first base so he got a hit <laughs> and then david price ended up hitting a sack fly off of me right <laughs> and then me not covering first base allowed me to face mookie and i ended up striking him out How, what'd you strike him out on you remember uh just a sinker I think he was a little surprised that I threw. His yeah, finger up you there, got but. it because you had that in your bag. He didn't think you had that in your bag. <laughs> There's no scouting report on you, right? They're no, not going to the pitchers. At meet. that time, there wasn't. So it's been a it's been two years since I pitched. So okay, all right. So you're deep in your bag, man. I like it. All right, that's great. Now, did you strut off the mound like Bauer at least, or no? You, did you stare him down? Did you give him a little stare <laughs> no, down? No, I little Girardi I asked, stare down. <laughs> little Max Scherzer asked, stare down. I asked for the ball from Victor Carantini immediately because. I knew I wanted that thing. <laughs> Where, where's the ball now? Is it home? You got it? The ball, no, the ball is in my locker. Authenticated everything. Damn straight it is. Get Mookie to sign it? Yeah. No, 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 no. Come on, now. That, He's trying no. to beat him. He's trying to beat him. That's still cool. He's trying to beat him. You're trying to be Otani of the National League. Is what you're trying to do. That's what you. I don't know. That guy's that guy's unbelievable. Right. I mean, and and I guess again, front row seat in terms of what, how you got a good feeling here. I mean, because it just I, it comes through the television set. You know, Slam Diego. You know, uh, and then this year, it just feels like you guys have some momentum with the Padres, Jake. Quite frankly, yeah, we're playing playing really good right now. I think. We had a really tough road trip before we came back home uh, this this past weekend against the Reds, and then that first night opening, opening I guess reopening night with all the full stadium. Hosmer hits a game tying two run homer, and then Carantini hits a walk off two run homer. I think that just kind of jump started everything for us. Mm-hmm. Would it be provocative to have the the Victors as a walk up song to the plate, Jake? Or is that too is that too provocative in Major League Baseball to ask for that? I'll tell you this: I don't even need to have it as a walk up song. About once or twice a home stand after one of my hits, they'll play the the Victors through the stadium after one of my hits. Uh, that's great. This is great. We just need a win in against Ohio State, and then we're fine. <laughs> oh, I was, I was, man, I, I was hoping you said that. <laughs> That's all we need. We just got a one November. I say it, oh, the amount of crap that I take, man. Because the NFL, um, the NFL is filled with players from the Ohio State, and it is a. It's been a rough go of it for me, Jake. I know. I don't mean to complain and bitch and whine to you. And now no, that you're kind my, of t- our strength coach for our team went to Ohio State. So no, I hear about it all the time. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jake, this has been a pleasure. Let's chat down the road, you know. Um, Absolutely. It really is a pleasure watching you play and be the, the Michigan man at this major league. You and Rich, hit, you and Rich Hill. Let, let, Rich, 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 Rich is killing it. it. He's killing it right now. So you guys keep doing what you're doing. Uh, very proud to watch you do it. So thanks for the call, Jake. Awesome. Thanks, Rich. I appreciate you having Let, me on. Anytime. Let's do this again. That's Jake Cronenworth. He's raking for the San Diego Padres. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.